Everyone, welcome Gail to the show. Gail admits when she met her boyfriend Larry 10 years ago, she was attracted to him because of the size of his hands. <laughs> and she, wa she wanted to know if that wa old wives' tale about men with large hands was true. <laughs> so, was it true? Hell yes. <laughs> Now, Gail, all these years later, believes that Larry is just as sexual as he was 10 years ago, except not with her. Oh. In fact, Gail says Larry has a wingman that helps him cheat. What is that? His own pickup truck, the which she calls the hookup truck. The hookup truck. The hook <laughs> why, why do you call it the hookup truck? Thanksgiving Day. Right. He says, Gail, go home. I'm going to come back right around. I didn't see him Thanksgiving Day. I didn't see him Christmas. I didn't see him New Year's. I didn't see him till January 2018. So, two months. The hookup truck. He was gone two months when he cranked that okay. truck up. Okay. He disappears all the time now, doesn't he? Now, he's always disappearing. He's All living in time. that truck. Where you at, Larry? I'm in the truck. Where you been, Larry? In the truck. Where you sleeping, Larry? In my truck. In Here's my the thing. Truck. Larry made a mistake one time. Larry because, made a mistake. because he butt dialed you in the truck. I'm listening. All I hear. Oh, there go my baby. I've been looking for you. I'm all excited. Yeah, I'm your no. baby, your baby. He ain't talking to me. <laughs> Need you to in get butt booty naked oh! in the truck in the back of the truck. <laughs> Meanwhile, what'd you find in his truck? Condom. Oh! Guess what Larry said the condoms come from? What? When I put him out, because you know I put him out, y'all. He goes, he says, I go take a shower, right? And they give you a little shower package. And it has the shampoo, soap, and, and con condoms. <laughs> That's what he said. That's what he said. Really? He said it. How about the scratch marks? Where'd they come from? He loves mangoes. He lives in Fort Lauderdale, plenty of mango trees. He goes up there, he climbs up, and he gets mangoes. So when I ask him about it, Larry, what's that on you? What's that on you? You know, look, there's a scratch. Oh, me and my brother, we went. I got some, con some mangoes. And that's what happened. I got scratched. Meanwhile, it's nice to have big hands, but... Your hand's too big, too, now. <laughs> Your future comes down to this lie detector test with him. His future? I have a great future. <laughs> His future with me. Here's Larry. Larry, come on out. <laughs> now, in the house. Hey, Ma, how you doing, man? Good to see you. All right. <laughs> wow. He does have big hands, that's for sure. <laughs> Good to see you, Larry. Good to see you, Mar. Who do you love more, Gail or your truck? I love Gail the most. Yeah. You do? Trust me, believe me. No, well, I love no, Gail. Well, she calls no. it the hookup truck. It's not a hookup truck. That's just my pride and joy. My truck is my pride and joy. You got Gail, that? You got Gail that? Also. When you got that new engine in that truck, you just took off and didn't come back for two months. <laughs> no. I'm gonna tell you what happened. The day I got my truck fixed, the day before Thanksgiving, I finally decided when we were cooking Thanksgiving dinner, I finally decided to haul ass <laughs> while she was cooking dinner. I left. Because, because she was on you all the time. She was on me all, I, I mean, am I wrong if any of you guys was in somebody's house and they're telling you for a year to get the out of my house? I've been faithful and I have Try my best, try my best to work with him and keep us together. He knows that. And to walk off, crank up your truck, and leave, you know, it's hard for me to get over. So let's find out. How about, how let's about, do how this. about, how about that accidental butt call? With the butt booty naked thing. I don't know what she's talking about because I never did anything that day. I might have said get back there and get butt booty naked, but nothing never happened. Never no. happened. You want to be with her? Yes. You sure? For 
This won't make 11 years since we've been together. Let me get to something else here. Oh, Those jumping mango trees <laughs> jumped up and scratched you. Yeah, I clam mango trees. And I got two long scratches here, maybe a couple in my back. Yeah, one on the back. Well, I can show you the back. That come from the limbs scratching me up. It don't come from me having sex. If he fails, what's happening? If he fails, he's gonna live in that truck. That's what he's gonna do. He's been comfortable there, he can stay there. Okay, hey. Larry, here we go. Uh -oh. During your relationship with Gail, did you sleep with another woman in your truck? You said no. The lie detector test determined that was a lie. <laughs> Did you sleep with a woman Gail heard you talking to when you butt dialed her? You said no. The lie detector test determined that was a lie. Oh, that ain't true. That ain't true. Oh, Did the scratch marks you say came from mango trees that Gail found on you really come from a woman you slept with? You said no. The lie detector test determined that was a lie. Oh, that was the truth. That was the truth. God on his truth. That Come on, Ralph. The scratches that... on your arms were for the mangoes, Ralph. but not Ralph. on your back. Ralph. Okay, now thank you. Let me show y'all my scratches. Not on the back. I'm gonna show y'all my scratches. Oh, oh, look, 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 look. A long scratch there. Yeah. A long scratch right, there. Right. But the back, no. the back, the is back scratch. Oh my he, God, Larry. In my interview, he, he smiled about that and he failed on my test. Okay. Okay. And during, your, and during your relationship with Gail through the 10 years, did you ever have a secret girlfriend? You no. said no, and Ralph? That was a lie. Where's he get? Is it is it over? Is that over? Is it, Larry. is it over? Larry, this was your chance to come clean. I came clean. I know from the way you act. I know from the way you treat me. Come on, girl. I already know. Just girl, like you know yesterday. You. Just like you, you went to the room, we get the hotel room, you gone. You just don't treat me with respect. I'll just, I like you, but I just need somebody who's gonna treat me with respect. Thank you. Have you been told that you're the father, but fear you're actually raising another man's child? Please call us right now at 1-888-45-MARI to speak with someone from our show about taking a DNA test. Thanks for watching, everybody. Now, if you want to see more Mari content, click here. And be sure to subscribe to be the first to know about new videos.